Oh man, this thing is a monster. We gotta talk about it. Yes, right. What's up? All right. Is going on, everybody. How? Oh, y'all doing? I'm feeling better. I'm not at a hundred percent. My voice isn't all the way back, but Xbox dropped the bomb yesterday, and I just I just summarized everything. Let's go into detail of Phil Spencer's blog on the xbox series x i'm gonna share my thoughts bro finally something to get hyped for this year man it's been crickets january february but microsoft is leading the gaming charge can we just pause for a second and just shout out to phil spencer the head of xbox wrote this you can say whatever you want about Phil Spencer. I've always liked him. He has a passion for gaming, man. And so I respect him just for that. And he's relaying that passion to the fans, boy. It's going to be a day one buy, Xbox Series X, man. Day one. Phil, you already got my money, bro. So this is... All right. So we already know the big overarching specs. Um, 12 teraflops, bro, <coughs> Sony is shivering right now, I don't care what anybody say, PlayStation 4 sold like crazy, I think the PlayStation 5 is still going to be alright, but Sony is not invincible, bro, Xbox 360 did take their lunch money, bro, really, and so, it can go either way, <coughs> this, this generation, console makers have to play their cards right, and I think Xbox is on the right track. So far, they've been doing everything right. I still think Xbox Series X, I'm hoping, I know it's going to be a series of console, but I'm hoping that each console has a specific name. <coughs> we coughing hard in this video, man. It's cold, bro. Um, like the Xbox Titan. You know what I'm saying? You got the Titan? Yeah, I got the Titan, boy. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, all right. So let's go into detail, the full specs, the breakdown, and I'm going to share my thoughts. I'm not just going to regurgitate what he says, <coughs> but I'm going to be pausing and just sharing my thoughts, man. Hey, y'all pray for your boy that I feel better, man. It's just this cold, man. It's a cold. <sighs> Got to shake it. But here's Phil Spencer's blog. What you can expect from the next generation of gaming. The future of gaming has never been more inspiring. Creativity in games is flourishing. New services empower you to discover more games and bring you closer to the games and creators and streamers. Streamers? Hey, check out my gaming channel, bro. I stream every day, bro. Obi-Wan plays gaming championship, bro. We be lit, bro. You love. The cloud creates a massive opportunity to stream console quality games and play with the people you want wherever you want. And for many of us, nothing is more inspiring than the dawn of a new console generation. This is what I like about what Xbox is doing. They're hitting you on different fronts, bruh. They're covering the cloud if you want to play your games in that option. But they're also making it just an option, not like Google Stadia, where all you got is the cloud. They're giving us a super powerful xbox respects the gamers bro they're trying to give us the best possible gaming experience and delivering it with power just so that we we don't have that excuse oh these games not running good no 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 they're giving us the best all right he continues we know you expect the next generation of consoles to set new standards in graphical power and processing speed converging together in games that look incredible and feel alive. Don't you want to feel alive, bro? 
This will be defined by worlds that are visually astounding and immediately immersive with innovative leaps in CPU, GPU, and storage technology to give you frictionless action to new stories and new creators constantly. Bro, I said this before. I was like, I don't know how much of a leap we're going to get for my Xbox One X. I was just on it, bro, grinding my stretch big in 2K on my Xbox now. Um... I was like, how much of a leap are we going to get from this generation to next? I always have that doubt, even from the 360 to the Xbox One. It's going to be the... Bro, the amount of power that we're getting in this console, we're going to start seeing a big difference, man. I think we're going to see that difference in gaming. We've been using Xbox Series X in our internal take-home program and are energized by the feedback we've been receiving. At Xbox, we value being open and transparent with you, and I'm proud to be able to share details about some of the technologies we are enabling for the next generation and look forward to boldly sharing more as we head towards towards E3. They throwing shots at Sony too, bro. Sony ain't come. I think the same day um, Sony announced they're not coming to E3. <laughs> I think Phil Spencer tweeted, we look forward to seeing y'all at E3 this year. <laughs> hey, Phil Spencer's a nice guy, but he hit them with them subliminums, bro. Them subliminals. All right. And the summary is 12 teraflops, variable rate shading, hardware accelerating, direct X-ray tracing, quick resume for multiple games, and smart delivery. Let's talk about it. First, a superior balance of power and speed. Compared to the previous generation, Xbox Series X represents a superior balance of power and speed in console design, advancing on all technological fronts to deliver amazing dynamic living worlds and minimize any aspect that can take you out of the experience. Our job at Team Xbox is to give teams the tools they need to achieve their ambitions and tap into the console's power with efficiency, a few of which we're detailing today raw power is just part of the story because this is what i'm saying it no it's no good if you have raw power and no games that was xbox well last at the beginning of the last generation with the xbox one <coughs> they didn't have any games and they didn't have <coughs> a powerful console they just failed on both fronts they turned it around halfway through the gen but sony had already ran away with it this generation not only are we getting power, but bro, they are, they've are they heavily invested in first party games. The mo I'm, I'm so excited for Ori and the Will of the Wisps, bro. Bleeding Edge is coming out next month too. At Xbox Inside 2019, that game Everwild, bro. Everwild <coughs> is looking real good let me put up ever wild real quick you would think i would already have this stuff already prepared and stuff but you know what i'm saying you know how i do it um y'all can even watch a commercial while it comes on <laughs> it's a commercial <laughs> all right here it is ever wild made by rare and so xbox is also hitting us with great x this looks like a multiplayer Breath of the Wild, bro. So they're going to have exclusives and um, the power to match it. Don't sleep on Xbox next gen, bro. I think Xbox is going to hit us hard next gen. All right. So they start off. Next generation custom processor. Xbox Series X is our most powerful console ever powered by a custom designed processor. Leveraging AMD's latest Zen 2 and RDNA 2 architectures, delivering four times the processing power of an Xbox One and enabling developers to leverage 12 teraflops of GPU performance, twice that of an Xbox One X and more than eight times the original Xbox One. Xbox Series X delivers a true generational leap in processing and graphics power with cutting edge techniques resulting in higher frame rates, larger, more sophisticated game worlds, 
and an immersive experience unlike anything seen in console gaming. The biggest thing for me, bro, is that 12 teraflops of power. I don't know if Sony's going to be able to match it because the rumors were already coming out. Xbox 12, Sony 9. And we were like, we don't know. These are just rumors. The 12 has been confirmed, bro. That's a one in a infinite possibility of getting that teraflop number right. And they got the 12 right, bro. So that 9 might be accurate for Sony, bro. What is Sony going to do with only 9 and we got 12? That was 7. 12. I've got 12 fingers. All right, next. Variable rate shading <laughs> tangent. Our patent form of VRS empowers developers to more efficiently utilize the full power of the Xbox Series X. Rather than spending GPU cycles uniformly to every single pixel on the screen, they can prioritize individual effects on specific game characters or important environmental effects. This technique results in more stable frame rates and higher resolution with no impact on the final image quality. And so you could developers are able to focus on your main character 4K, the main background that you see most 4K, 120 frames. We're going to talk about that 120 frames in a second. But the tree that you see all the way out in left field that you may not even ever see, they might have that at just at 1080p. Um, and so they could um, they could focus on what they want. And they do that to an extent this generation in games. But I think it's going to be more noticeable um, this genera next gen. Hardware accelerated direct X ray tracing. <coughs> you can expect more dynamic and realistic environments powered by hardware accelerated direct X ray tracing. A first for console gaming. This means true to life lighting accurate reflections and realistic acoustics in real time as you explore the game world they're trying to immerse us bro they're trying to pull us in bro speaking of immersion the next title is immersion in an instant the next console generation will de be defined by more playing and less waiting and when play begins we know many gamers demand ultra low latency to be as immersed and precise as possible. I was about to talk about 2K on the Switch and my frustration right now. Trying to shoot, because I like shooting bills. You push the button, you don't know what you're getting, bro. The lag is like <coughs> unpredictable. I want to know that when I miss the shot, it's my fault. And so, immersion in an instant. Give us that. To this end, the team analyzed every step between player and game, from controller to console to display, and asked how we could make it faster. And this is how they're making it faster. First, SSD storage. This has been the big wave talked about by Sony, also by Xbox. With our next generation SSD solid state drive, nearly every aspect of playing games is improved. Game worlds are larger more dynamic and load in a flash and fast travel is just that fast imagine you go to a fast travel you check you click on fast travel boom in an instant you just pop up in that location like you warp down then you warp right back up right that usually when you fast travel there's a load screen in between uh, impress us xbox impress us quick resume the new quick resume feature lets you continue multiple games from a suspended state almost instantly, returning you to where you were and what you were doing without waiting through long loading screens. Just like on your phone, bro. When you turn, if you're playing like a game on the uh, on the bus or whatever, and you turn it off, and you turn it back on, you can pick up right back in an instant. Um, I think that should be in every game because they do that to a certain extent um, on your Xbox One, but. Like if you're online, you're disconnected from your online session. Imagine you're just still online. You just continue without a hitch right where you left off. That would be lit. Dynamic latency input, DLI. We're optimizing latency in the player to console pipeline, starting with our Xbox wireless controller, which leverages our high bandwidth proprietary wireless communication protocol when connected to the console with dynamic latency input a new feature which synchronizes input immediately with what is displayed controls are even more precise and responsive 
Bro, they're already selling me on NBA 2K21, bro. I got an Xbox Series X2. It's up in my room. I got um, I got an Elite 1 and an Elite 2 controller. And I love Xbox controller, bro. When you push the button, it's accurate, bro. That's what they're talking about. All right. Next thing. HDMI 2 support. HDMI 2.1 innovation. We've partnered with the HDMI forum and TV manufacturers to enable the best gaming experience through features such as auto low latency mode and variable refresh rate. Auto low latency mode allows Xbox One and Xbox Series X to automatically set the connected display to its lowest latency mode. VRR synchronizes the display's refresh rate to the game's frame rate, maintaining smooth visuals without tearing. I remember on the Xbox 360, screen tearing was horrible, bro. None of that. Ensuring minimal lag and the most responsive gaming experience. The next bullet point, 120 frames per second support, bro. With support for up to 120 frames per second, Xbox Series X allows developers to exceed standard 60 frames per second output in favor of heightened realism or fast-paced action. I was watching something yesterday and they said the human eye, after 150 frames, you really can't tell the difference, even though it's potential up to 1,000 frames, but they say 150 is the breaking point and so at 120 frames per second we're getting as best gameplay responsiveness as possible i've never been a big fan of realistic rocks but i've been a big fan of tumbling rocks how the rocks move how they shift left and right gameplay bro the next generation of game compatibility this is big this is big. The benefits of the next console generation extends in every direction, bringing greater visual fidelity and improved loading speeds to our existing game legacy in addition to new games. We're continuing our commitment to compatibility with Xbox Series X and investing in technology that makes game ownership easier across generations. The next bullet point four generations of gaming bro it says our commitment to compatibility means existing xbox one games including backward compatible xbox 360 and original xbox games look and play better than ever before your favorite games including titles and xbox game pass benefit from steadier frame rates faster low times improve resolution and visual fidelity all with no developer work required your xbox one gaming accessories also come forward with you bro this is so consumer friendly i remember when i got my playstation 4 <coughs> i bought the last of us remastered edition it was like four or five games at launch, remastered, enhanced, um, upscaled edition, a GTA, upscaled, and we had to pay a full sixty dollars for the same game, but with better um, resolution and frame rates. Xbox is doing this for free, bro. Dudes don't really think about, it. bro. Sony's gonna be looking real crazy out here if we can play Cyberpunk twenty. 2020 whatever the game is called the enhanced edition if we already bought it on our xbox and we get an xbox series x and we could play it then the game just looks better runs better for free and sony's gonna charge us 60 dollars for an enhanced <laughs> developer edition and i think that's more on the developers what they decide to do but if sony doesn't have that feature built into the playstation 5 it's gonna be looking crazy bro all right next they have something called smart delivery. This technology, this technology empowers you to buy a game once and know that 
whether you're playing it on Xbox One or Xbox Series X, you're getting the right version of that game on Xbox, you're on whatever Xbox you're playing. That's what I just talked about. We're making the commitment to use smart delivery on all our exclusive Xbox Studios titles, including Halo Infinite, <coughs> ensuring you only have to purchase a title once in order to play the best available version of whichever Xbox console they choose to play on. This technology is available, available for all developers and publishers, and they can choose to use it for titles that will be released on Xbox One first and come to the Xbox Series X later. I, I'm a 2K head, and so I'm thinking NBA 2K. If the Xbox launches, say, in November, 2K comes out in September. If I buy 2K on my Xbox One X, and if I get my Series X, I won't have to buy the same game twice if 2K don't trip. And the game could potentially run at higher fidelity on my Series X. Bro, that is such a big W, bro. Xbox Game Pass. In addition to games from across four generations of consoles, our leading game subscription service, Xbox Game Pass, will continue to have our first party games like Halo Infinite included at their launch. We look forward to millions of you experience the Xbox Game Pass portfolio and immersing yourselves in a deep library of high quality games, playing those you love now and also discovering your next great adventure. Bro, Game Pass is the best thing this generation in gaming bro first party games we get for free bro when Ori and the Will of the Wisp comes out in a couple weeks I don't have to spend $60 for the game it's included in my subscription Halo Infinite including in my subscription Bleeding Edge including in my subscription the um, Cuphead DLC is that gonna be included in Game Pass it better be and not only that so many dope indie games free at launch in Game Pass when Streets of Rage 4 comes out, I believe it was already advertised, it's going to be launching on Game Pass. Bro, I was a big Streets of Rage dude on my Sega Genesis. Day 1 play on Game Pass, bro. Alright, we're coming to the end. <coughs> a generation with players at the center. Xbox Series X is our fastest, most powerful console ever, designed for a console generation that has you at its center. This means a high fidelity gaming experience enclosed in a quiet and bold design with the ability to discover thousands of games across four generations, all with more playing and less waiting. Whether it's empowering amazing creators at our 15 Xbox game studios, bro, they got a lot of first party studios for next generation. Fueling game discovery with Xbox Game Pass or expanding what and where you can play with Project X Cloud, Team Xbox stands for frictionless pathways between players and the best experiences our remarkable art form has to offer. Xbox Series X represents that same commitment for players who want immediate immersion in games that also look and feel better than ever. We can't wait to share more details about the new Xbox with you in the coming months. Phil Spencer, well done. You got me hyped. You got me sold on the console, man. Like I said, of course I'm a Nintendo fan, but <coughs> when the Xbox 360 was out, I played my Xbox 360 way more than my Wii. So don't get that twisted. I'm on my Switch, but... I wasn't on my Xbox. I did have my Xbox One at launch at the beginning of this generation. The Xbox was letting me down, bro. The uh, multi-plats weren't looking as good as my, I bought my place. I bought every console, uh, every generation by every console. Next generation, I don't know if I'm buying the PlayStation 5. Definitely already have my Switch. Xbox Series X has me sold. I'm, I'd probably be good with my Switch and my Xbox Series X, bro. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything Phil Spencer shared with us? It's definitely a monster. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. Still got a cold. You're still watching this video? 
That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Obi Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. Two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime. You can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, Patreon.com backslash obi one Plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later. Peace.